From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Well, as you may or may not know, I've got a free weather app. I suggest you check it on out. You can always watch these weather updates that you're watching right now, right from your phone, the 24 hour streaming channel, the neighborhood forecast, everything that's available on Weather NorCal is right there on the phone, your iPhone or your Android. Just go to those, uh, the app store or the Google Play store, search for Weather NorCal and download the app for free. All right, so here's the deal. We've got another round of rain that's coming in tonight and not to mention into early tomorrow morning. And really that's when the bulk of the rain will be. We're not gonna see a ton of rain through the afternoon tomorrow. It's the bulk of the rain coming in late tonight, early. So most of us will be asleep and before we even head off to work is when the bulk of the rain will fall. But it'll be off and on rain through Saturday. But then we do expect more wet weather going through a good portion of next week. Off and on chances continue. So we can see an area of low pressure right here. We've got a big batch of moisture with that rain associated with that. That's what's coming in tonight and early tomorrow morning. That's tapping into this atmospheric river. Mostly cloudy and fairly dry for your Thursday. And then there's the next system coming on Friday. This too will be tapping into this moisture, giving us that next round of rain by Friday, not to mention even into Saturday. So here's a look at future cast. Here's 11 o'clock tonight. We're starting to see some of the rain kind of overspread the region. Now you can see some of the heavier rainfall to the north. We're still not seeing a lot of activity here late tonight for the eastern mountains, but that will change as we go into the early morning hours. Here's 6 a.m. On, on Wednesday, tomorrow. We're seeing these uh, pockets of heavy rainfall in there. Snow levels should be around 5,000 feet, give or take. It could be locally lower in some places. Chester, El Turris, Susanville, Viola, for example, I think you're all going to see the potential for, at the very least, a mix. Okay, and then, of course, everything below that, Mount Shasta City, uh, Bernie, Shingletown, Hayfork, Weaverville, most likely all in the form of rain. Then we go into noon tomorrow, and we're just seeing some isolated showers. It's going to be hard for us to really clear things out. It'll probably stay overcast through a good portion of the day, but maybe some afternoon and evening clearing with a few showers here and there. We're going to start Thursday morning off with some fog. That may stay persistent through the morning. And then by the afternoon on Thursday, it should start to dry out. But look at Thursday, 5 p.m. It's still dry. We're, we're looking at uh, clearing skies, but there's the next batch of rain coming in Thursday night and into your uh, Friday as well. So that's going to be the next round of rain. And again, this is the way we want to see our rain. And that is we see batches of rain. Then we see some breaks in there, get it kind of recover a little bit. Then we get more rain and then another break. And that's going to be the trend here off and on all the way through, most likely through next week. Now, looking at the overall rainfall totals, about a quarter to a half an inch in the valley, not to mention for the coast. And we're not seeing bad totals off to the north and east either. So is this a ton of rain? No. Could it create a few minor flooding problems, such as mudslides and debris flows? Not out of the question, but the threat is not going to be quite as high. What we're seeing here is that future cast is at least picking up on the lower snow levels. I do not anticipate much in the way of accumulation in any of these elevations. But again, as I mentioned, that's where we do expect to see the best chance for that rain-snow mix for some of these mountain communities. Otherwise, just not even a lot of snow as you head up into the higher elevations. Now, looking at the forecast winds, here's tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Look at the gusty winds we're seeing along the coast. We're approaching 30 miles per hour near Crescent City. But also some breezy, borderline windy conditions here for parts of the valley and, of course, central Siskiyou County in Shasta Valley there. Now, that'll probably still be windy through the day on Wednesday, but you'll notice the winds, for the most part, are subsiding tomorrow afternoon and then it looks like on thursday the winds will be calmer as well so it's mainly just going to be uh, the winds tomorrow morning and they're subsiding by the afternoon take a look at this route of high pressure now when we talk about high pressure usually we talk about drier conditions warmer more sunshine but one thing you have to remember especially if you have stormy weather kind of on the west side of that what happens is it flows it flows kind of uh, parallel to these isobars that we see, these white lines. This is the direction that it's all moving. Of course, this whole pattern itself is shifting eastward. So what happens is you see this rain and it kind of goes over that ridge. And sometimes you get some of that rain uh, kind of on the slight east side of that ridge as well. 
Okay, so just kind of give you an idea, that's, this is where we see the highest amount of instability in a ridge of high pressure. We have what we call vort vortice maxes, right? But usually on the east side of that ridge of high pressure, we have more stable air and we don't see as much in the way of rainfall on that side. So when we look at the positioning of this ridge of high pressure over us on Friday, Saturday, you see what's happening. You have the ridge here, but we're in the area that has the instability and that flow. So we're still seeing that rain coming in for Friday and Saturday. But it does look like, you see how the ridge builds and gets stronger. So what that's doing is, is keeping most of the rain off to our west. Now, this particular forecast model is keeping us dry through at least even the middle of next week. However, I'm gonna go ahead and call for a chance for showers as early as Tuesday of next week because the European forecast model has been very consistent with that solution. Uh, and this has been kind of off and on with it, but mainly kind of holding off until Wednesday. But overall, you can see long range going into early February. We do have a pretty decent chance of seeing that rainfall. And of course you saw that on future cast, but we're still keeping those snow levels fairly high as we uh, go into the next uh, 10 days or so. Wave heights, there you can see around 10 feet for your Wednesday. And as we take you on into your Thursday with that approaching storm system, those wave heights are going to increase, getting upwards of around 15, even 16 feet at times. So marine forecasts will start off fairly high with those winds, but they'll subside throughout the day. The waves will be out of the south at about eight feet at eight seconds, and from the west at seven feet at 14 seconds. And there's a small correct advisory even through tomorrow afternoon, as we do expect to see those gusty winds and those rough seas at times. Taking a look at your forecast for tonight, no big surprises here. I'm expecting some upper, mainly around 30, 30 degrees, give or take. So some upper 20s, low 30s, eastern mountains in Siskiyou County, looks like in the low to mid 30s. For the valley, we're looking at temperatures in the mid 40s. And of course, for Hoopa and Willow Creek, um, somewhere in the mid to upper 40s and looks like mid to upper 40s out along the coast as well. So let's take a look at your neighborhood forecast for Trinity County. Those temperatures mid to upper 40s, off and on rain, snow levels could get as low as 5,000 feet, but for the most part between five and 6,000 feet. All right, we take you off in the North Coast neighborhood forecast, 57 degrees for Ferndale, 55 in Honeydew, looks like Shelter Cove about 52 degrees. And how about Blue Lake, a high of about 56 degrees. We take you up north, out towards Smith River, 55, 51 degrees for Hoopa and Willow Creek, and looks like Orleans, a high of about 54 degrees. Your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, we're looking at those temperatures in the 40s. So there you can see out in Scott Valley, Fort Jones around 47, 44 for Etna. Happy Camp about 50, 50 degrees for Hornbrook, and McDowell, a high of about 40 degrees. Here's your seven-day, uh, excuse me, your, uh, your neighborhood forecast for Modoc County and your seven-day outlook for El Turris, uh, often on chances for rain, snow levels between five and 6,000 feet. Temperatures for tomorrow will be in the low 40s for most of us. Here's your eastern mountains neighborhood forecast. Temperatures also in the low to mid 40 for your daytime high. Some of the warmer spots like Paradise at 49, 47 degrees for Shingletown, 40 though in Viola, there you can see Doyle about 47 and Portola, a high of about 44 degrees. Here's your Valley Neighborhood Forecast brought to you by Haas Farms. Those temperatures should be in the mid 50s, often on showers. Some morning fog again for Thursday may take a bit longer for that to burn off, but I do expect some clearing for Thursday afternoon. And as we take you off to the north, look for a high of 49 for Whiskey Town, 53 degrees for Palisadro, Lakehead, a high of about 49, City of Shasta Lake 51, and Red Bluff, a high of 54 degrees. Here's your seven-day outlook for Redding, of course, the showers, and for your Wednesday, especially the heaviest coming in late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Most of us will be asleep when the heaviest rainfall is falling. And then morning fog on Thursday with probably some clearing in the afternoon, and then showers for Friday, Saturday, drying out Sunday, Monday, and I have included a chance for showers by next Tuesday.